Hey, Chemstars, this is Mrs. Vanoy bringing you Chemstar video. This is 7.3, number eight. This is all about empirical formulas. So once again, you're going to need your periodic table and your calculator. So if you need to pause this and go find it, go grab it. See you soon. All right, so what are we doing today? We're finding empirical formulas. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna determine the empirical form of a compound given percent composition data or mass composition data. Actually, uh, this example is just to be percent composition. You remember that's what we did in the last video? We found percent composition. I gave you the molecular formula. You found part over whole. And you, for, you found the percent composition. You found the percent of carbon or percent of oxygen or something. Well, we're going to reverse that now. And I'm going to give you the percent composition. And you're going to tell me the empirical formula. Not the necessarily the molecular, but the empirical. The next video, the last video of this section, will show you how to find the empir or excuse me, the molecular formula from the empirical formula. So then we'll complete that process of you know reversing the, the percent composition from the formula to percent composition. And we can find the percent composition to the molecular. Okay. So our key vocabulary is um, empirical formula and again percent composition. So what is an empirical formula? If it's not a molecular always all right necessarily so what is an empirical formula it's a compound that shows the what the smallest whole number ratio of the atoms in the compound okay it may or it may not be the actual molecular formula it could but it may not so how do we do this well here's some examples okay so here's ethene all right notice that the uh, number of atoms of carbon is two and hydrogen is two well, what's the smallest whole number ratio of two and two? Well, what can you divide both two and two by? Hmm, two, right? So what's two divided by two? One. What's two divided by two? One. So what is the small uh, whole number ratio? It's C1H1 or just CH. Well, what about styrene? Uh, I have eight atoms of carbon and eight atoms of hydrogen. What is the small whole number ratio of eight and eight? Well, once again, I think it's like, Divide your side by eight, right? So what's eight divided by eight? One. What's eight divided by eight? One. So the smallest whole number ratio is C1, H1. What about water? Well, what's the small number, small whole number ratio of two and one? Well, what can both two and one be divided by and still get a whole number? It's only one. So that is its empirical formula. So do you see where it says it may or may not be the actual formula? In this case, the empirical formula is the molecular formula, all right? They're one and the same. That's because you can't divide the two and the one by anything besides one. But what about hydrogen peroxide? What's the smallest whole number ratio for hydrogen peroxide? Well, what can you divide both two and two by? Hmm, two. So we get H1O1 or just HO. Ho, ho, ho. All right, so that would be the empirical formula for hydrogen peroxide. So how are we going to get the empirical formula from percent composition? Well, I got something to show you. Don't rhyme. Let's do a shio to go. Do you do it? Come on, let's go. Uh, 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 percent two grams, grams two mole, divide by smallest, define the whole. Percent two grams, grams two mole, divide by smallest, define that whole. Uh, 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 uh. This rep of chemistry, how do you do it? Repeat after me. Percent two grams, grams two mole, divide by smallest, define the whole. Peace out. So that was the special guest, Vivi V uh singing the empirical rap formula song all right so the poem the rap um how did vivi movi do that well what was the the chorus there what was the first thing you did percent two grams grams two mole divide by smalls to find the whole percent two grams grams two moles divide by smalls to get the whole hey repeat after me percent two grams grams two mole divide by smalls to get the whole that's how you do it all right so you could be a famous rap star too all right if you want to do the empirical formula rap now let me add one more little thing. You might need to multiply 
to get the whole. And what does that mean? Well, we will show you, okay? So here is the problem. Um, determine the empirical form of a compound. You should always assume you have 100 grams, all right? Because remember, like percent composition, does it make any difference how much of it you have? You'll always have the same percent of carbon or the same percent of hydrogen or the same percent of whatever if you have a little piece or a big piece. So when we're using those ores before, those, those copper ores, um, what does that mean? If I had a big rock of malachite or a little rock of malachite, won't they have the same percent? Yes, they will. So if you assume 100 grams, your life gets so much easier, all right? And even if you don't have 100 grams, you're still going to work out, okay? If you assume you do percent, all right, so if you have 100 grams of the compound, whatever the percent is, is that's the gram. So if you're going to do percent two grams, whatever that percent is, make it grams, all right? So let's look at um, this compound is analyzed and found to contain 25.9% nitrogen and 74.1% oxygen. What is the empirical formula of the compound? Well, always, always, always factor label. All right, so let's start with the first part of it, all right? So we're going to find moles. So question mark moles equals 25.9 grams. Where did I get this number from? What's the percent nitrogen? 25.9% nitrogen. If I assume I had 100 grams, I would have 25.9 grams of nitrogen. So we're going to factor label, right? So what unit has to go on the bottom, everyone? Grams, periodic table. Look at your periodic table. What's the molar mass of nitrogen? 14.1 grams. Hopefully you got that. And that's one mole of nitrogen. So go ahead and divide. All right. I got this. Let's do the same thing for oxygen. All right. So percent two grams. And now I got to go grams two moles. Okay. Well, I need to divide by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16 grams, and that's one mole. So how many moles of oxygen do I have? I have, well, you go ahead and divide. What do you get? I have 4.63. So what have I done so far? Percent two grams, grams two moles. How did I get that? Factor labeled it. Percent two grams, see, 74.1%. Percent, percent two grams, grams two moles. How'd I do that? I factor labeled it, okay? Now what? All right, so percent two grams, grams two mole, divide by smallest. Well, what's your smaller number, 1.85 or 4.63? I bet it's 1.85, isn't it? So divide both things, same things, by 1.85. So whatever your smaller number is, Divide both you know terms by that, and what do you get? Well, I think you know that what's 1.85 divided by 1.85? Well, that's equal to 1. What's 4.63 divided by 1.85? Hmm, that's 2.5, isn't it? Do you have a whole number? Is 2.5 a whole number? Have you ever seen a form that goes N1, O, 2.5 in the subscript? Never. You don't put a fraction in the subscript. That's silly. So remember what I wrote here? But you might need to multiply to get the whole. That's what we're going to have to do here. What can you multiply? Uh, one or no, one's already a whole number. What can you multiply 2.5 by to get a whole number? It's so usually going to be something pretty obvious. So I think you'd, you would agree if I multiplied that by 2, I get a whole number. So what should I do to the one? I also have to multiply it by a, a whole number. So it's one point or one times two. Oh, I think that's two. Uh, what is 2.5 times two? Hmm, I think that's five. So what is my empirical formula? It's N2O5. Uh, oh, oh, so watch, take this two and that's this two. Take the five and that's that five. All right. So whatever you get uh, when you're done, that's your subscript of the empirical formula. Okay. Let's try another one. Just see if you if got this. Okay. 
All right, calculate empirical form for each compound. All right, we're going to practice some more. So this compound has oxygen and hydrogen. It might be water. Who knows? Let's find out. So what's the first thing that VV Mulvey told you to do? Percent two grams. So if I assume I had 100 grams, how much of it is oxygen? Well, 94.1%. Well, what's 94.1% of 100? It's 94.1 grams. So percent two grams. Did it. Now what? Grams two mole. Oh, I need a factor label. All right. So if I can do uh, grams two mole, I have to put grams on the bottom. What's that of oxygen? You just looked it up earlier. It's 16, right? And what goes on top? One mole. So what does that equal to? Well, you figure it out. All right. I got 5.88 moles of oxygen. All right. So hang on. We got to try that. We got to do the next one now. So do the same thing with um, hydrogen, right? So if I assumed I had 100 grams of um, hydrogen, I got, or I'm sorry, of, of this compound, I will have 5.9 grams of hydrogen. Notice that 94.1 plus 5.9 add up to 100 grams, right? So now what? I got percent two grams, grams two moles, all right? So here we go. So what goes on the bottom? Grams, periodic table, that's right. Very good. And that's one mole of hydrogen. And when I do that, I got 5.85. And of these two numbers, what's your smallest? Remember, we have to divide by smallest, right? I divide by 8.5 uh, 8, or 5.85. And you know what? That's really awfully close to one mole. We're, we're going to call it close to one. All right. It's not exact, but man, it's awfully close. And so that's one. So what's my empirical formula? Is it H2O? Mm, nope. It is HO. Okay. So that's my empirical formula. So these ones here are the subscripts here, okay? Now look at the next one. Uh, it's a little bit more work, isn't it? All right? It's a little bit more work. Um, I got three elements to worry about now, don't I? All right. Well, I have 67.6% mercury. So ready? Uh, 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 percent two grams. There we go. Grams two moles. All right, what unit has to go on the bottom? Grams, look up mercury. Find mercury's molar mass. It's a big one. Go ahead and look that up. Okay, there we go. And one mole of mercury and divide. That's what I got. Well, I can't go on until I know what my other numbers are because I don't know what my smallest whole number is. So let's try the next one. Uh, uh, Percent two grams, got it. Grams two moles. What number goes on the bottom? All right, that number does. So now what? Well, what goes on the top? Oops. It's one mole of sulfur. There we go. Oops, oops, come here. I was having a little technical difficulties. I'm sorry about that. And divide. What do you get? Go ahead and divide. Hmm, what do you think? Same number. One. That's a one-to-one -one ratio, isn't it? So I don't know. Let's, we got to figure out what oxygen is. Ready? So ready? Uh, uh, sh percent two grams. All right, let's pause right here. What do you think? 67.6 and 10.8 and 21.6 all add up to? 100 grams, right? So if we assumed we had 100 grams, that's going to work out great, right? Now what? Grams two moles. All right, it goes on the bottom. We have this memorized for oxygen yet? I bet you do. It is what? Yep, 16, one mole. All right, and now what do you get? Do you get 0.337? No, you don't. You get 1.35. Oh. So now what? We need to divide by the smallest. I think it's 0.337, don't you think? All right, so divide by 0.337 to get the whole. So it's 0.337 divided by 0.337. One. What is 0.337 divided by 0.337? Hmm. One. What is uh, 1.35 divided by 0.337? Hmm. Four. That's right. Okay, now what? Well, what's the empirical formula? Put it all together. Oops. For whatever reason, I decided to put the ones in here. So one mole 
that's my subscript. One mole, that's my subscript. Four moles, that's my subscript. So what I would like you to do is do number three, all by yourself. Please pause this and try it on your own. Okay, I mean it. See you soon. You did pause this, didn't you? All right, so this is how I started off. I went percent two grams. Oh, and here I have all my grams, all right? So whatever the percent is, is your grams. Grams, two moles. I'm gonna factor label, put the molar mass in the bottom, one mole on top, and I get moles. Divide by smallest. Well, what's my smallest? 5.17, 13.7, or 1.72? I think it's 1.72, isn't it? So divide by smallest, all right? And what do you get? So it's 5.17 divided by 1.72, three. It's, it's almost exactly, isn't it? What is 13.7 divided by 1.72? It's almost exactly, it was like 7.98, wasn't it? It's almost, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, what about how many, what's a 1.72 divided by 1.72? It is one. That was an easy one. You probably didn't need a calculator for that one. And so what's my empirical formula? C3H8N1. And that is how you find empirical formula. So don't wait to be great. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.